Well, hello everybody. It is Jason again with the Magnetic Squatch. I am out again for another Magnetic Squatch magnet fishing adventure. I am in the Lakeshore area of Jacksonville at a spot that I just found yesterday. This fishing pier right under a bridge, right next to a railroad track. So a railroad track bridge right here. We're under this bridge. I'm thinking that this might be a pretty good hot spot here. I might even find myself some of my first railroad stuff. And also, don't forget, it is the giving time of year with Christmas right around the corner. And you know what makes a great gift? Brute Magnetics magnets make a wonderful gift. Please check out the link down in the description. And don't forget about my code, TMS10. Get yourself 10% discount on great magnets like the one that I use. So I'm gonna throw the GoPro on. I'm gonna get all my equipment set up and we're gonna get the magnet in the water and we're gonna see what we get for you guys. All right, guys, I have got myself a new set of gloves. Also picked myself up a hat, as you saw in my intro. My other gloves were just gotten to the point where they were really no use anymore. So we're gonna see what we got going on over here. Get the magnet in the water for the first time. See if there's anything down here worth pulling up. Gonna have to be real careful with this railing right here. Do not want to get snagged on it. What do we got on the first pull? Not real too sure what that is. Looks like it might have been a spike. It's hard to tell because there's not much left of it. It's like an old battery. We pulled up some metal on this one. What do we got? Just a bunch of scrap. All right, it definitely feels like there's something chunky on here this time. This is heavier. What do we have here? Uh, looks like it's just an old piece of rebar. All right, we got a magnet full of metal here. What all do we got? All right, an old set of threads with a square nut on it. Just some more rusty metal. One thing this location is good for is rusty metal. That's just what I did not want to do. Well, the one thing I didn't want to do, I just freaking did. First, among all, I think I got my first railroad spike. Well, I had my first railroad spike, trying to bust the crap off of it, it broke, but... Yep, that was my first railroad spike. But above all that, I went and got stuck. Okay, that wasn't so bad. All right, unfortunately this location didn't pan out, so I'm gonna go find me someplace else. Stay tuned. All right, everybody, I'm back in another location. Um, I fished here with my son one day, but it started raining. We really didn't get a whole lot in. But I'm going to try fishing off of this fishing pier right here. I also have permission to fish off of the boat ramps and a little bit along that wall right there. Um, they said I can't go down where the boat docks are. I completely understand that. But I am going to throw the GoPro on get my gear set up and we're going to see what we can find out here at this location all right since we got permission to fish off of the boat docks excuse me the boat ramps that's where we're going to start i don't know how much we're going to get in over here because it looks like we got some rain coming from the north but we're gonna get things in the water here and see what we can get going
Hey, looky there. First toss out. We got a self a strap. All right. All right. What do we got? Oh my God, guys. We got a knife. Holy crap. Looky there. Wow, and it's even in, it's even in the sheet still. Oh, it's been down there a long time. The blade is almost gone. I can feel it. I'm not even gonna, guys, I'm not even gonna try to open that up because I can feel that the blade is rusted away in there. That is cool. What does it say on here? It says old timer. That's an old timer. That is badass. I just don't think there's anything left of the blade in there. I'm afraid to. Yeah, I'm not even gonna try to pull that out. That is sweet. Guys, I don't know, it's hard to tell, but I think I might have locked onto something right there. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I did. Let's see what we got here. All right, what is this? Not really sure what this is for, just a bracket of some sort. All right, I'm gonna pull this one in and we're gonna call it quits at this location. All right, we are moving on. And I'm back at my next location. This will be the last location of the day. This is location number three. I'm at a park, kind of out in the middle of nowhere. And I love locations out in the middle of nowhere. So with that being said, I'm gonna put the GoPro on. We're gonna get the magnet in the water and we're gonna see what we can find right here all right out here at this location there's no telling what kind of wildlife we may see out here As a matter of fact right over here on this log there's a turtle probably being watched by countless alligators and snakes right now all right let's get her in the water see what the bottom's like out here Bud Light and a hook. All right, guys, I definitely feel heavier this time. Oh, yep, what do we got? Oh, <laughs> look. We got an auger drill bit. Well, that's a pretty cool find out here. I'm just going to assume this was probably used when this boat dock was built. Cool find. All right, we got some smalls on this one. A super hook. Wow, look at that thing. You know what? Hooks like this. We're going to leave here for fishermen to use. And then we got us a Budweiser, I guess. All right, I just got something. Oh, all right. There's something with some weight right here. <laughs> what? I just pulled up the base of like an office chair. All right. Well, that's uh, certainly an interesting find out here. All right. I just like hit the fishing hook mother load on that one. Sneak attack under this dock. All right, well. <laughs> we got five 
very decent hooks off of that one. Leave them over here for fishermen to find and use. Oh, okay, I was wrong. There weren't five, there were six. Seven, but that one is not usable. All right, we're gonna continue the uh, sneak attack portion of the program here. Sneak attack magnet fishing. Brought to you by Neon Raven and The Wiz. All right, we got some stuff on here, some more smalls. Well, we got some more hooks. I'll tell you what, I hope that young lady that was out here the other day when I came out here scouting this place comes back here because I'd love for her to find all these hooks and use them. Oh, and then a chain. We'll get back to that here in a second. All right, let's take us a look at this. It's definitely not real gold because of the fact that it was magnetic, but heck, that's still a pretty cool find right there. All right, in the bucket. Ah, uh, I'm doing a oh, magnet fishing. Yes, sir. I'm a. Uh, I'm going to be making some people who come out here fishing very happy, I can tell you that. No, sir, I've found... Oh, man, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 so far. Just by tossing it up under the dock. Oh, man. All these openings in here. Uh-huh. Yeah. Where you buy a magnet like I pulled that this right here from out there. Uh, this right here I bought from uh, Brute Magnetics. Yeah, it's a 3,600 pound magnet. It's, um, the magnet weighs 10 pounds, but each side has 1,800 pound pull. Dang. Yes, sir. So you can pull anything out the water. Just bag. about. Yes, sir. I've seen a lot of, I'll be watching YouTube and see a lot of people doing magnet fishing. I always thought about getting it. Yeah, doing you should. It. That's what I'm doing it for, my, my channel. Oh, yeah? What's yeah. your channel? The Magnetic Squatch. And it's on YouTube? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you, I wouldn't be surprised if you pulled more than this drill bit out there because before they built this park here, this used to be a dump. Yeah, I'm not. I'm, I'm kind of expecting to find some. There's something. Well, I also pulled up that office chair base from right, right here. Mm. <laughs> Man, and you said you got those magnets from where now? It's a company called Brute Magnetics. Uh, That's what's on my hat. Oh, Brute Mag Magnetics. Yeah, but uh, you can uh, use my discount code when you go there to, um the magnetic squatch so tms10 tms10 yeah hey i appreciate it you have yourself a beautiful day all right, all right there you go yes sir Ooh. When someone comes down to talk to you at the boat ramp, you tell them about your channel, and they go sit down in their truck, turn it on, and you can actually hear them through their speakers watching your YouTube channel. That's a good feeling. Thank you, sir. And another big hook. Bud Light. And another hook. This hook actually still has bait on it. That's funny. We're going to give it a few more sneak attacks from here. All right. Oh! Okay, well, this sneak attack was worth it. Check this out. Yes! Wow! That... It's so nice. Absolutely. Oh, 
What is this? Does it... Oh, the blade comes out. Oh, that is sweet. It's got... Where you can exchange the blades. Okay, mossy oak. Heck yeah. We're going to keep up the sneak attacks here. Whoops. That one didn't work out very well. There we go. All right, what do we got here? We've got us some more really nice fishing hooks. All right, guys. I think we are going to wrap it up on this fishing dock here. And we're going to move down there. But first, do a quick recap of the fishing hooks. Oh, yeah. All right. We have moved down here to the kayak launch area. We were just right down there at that dock. Got a different view of the creek now. This is beautiful. I can't believe I've never been back here before. I tell you, I will be finding this place more often. I can promise you that. All right. Let's get the magnet in and see what's going on by the, the kayak launch. You know, it's kind of a rainy day, but I don't know. It's still gorgeous out here. I'd love to get in a kayak and go up this canal, this creek. Well, we snagged some fishing line. Got that up out of the water anyways. Okay, you got something here. What do I have? Uh, just some scrap metal. Hey, what do I have here? That looks like it was part of some jumper cables at one point in time. All right. We're getting some finds down here at the kayak launch. All right, what do we got? Oh, a bike chain. Okay. Well, that could mean there's a bike down there. Or it could just mean there was a bike chain. And we'll give it one more good toss on each side. We'll go this side first and then over here. All right. Here we go. Got a fishing hook. All right. All right. One more good toss out this side. All right, well, we got something on here. There's some old rust. Okay. All right, guys, let's give a little recap of everything we pulled up today. From the first stop over there on that fishing pier by the railroad track, I did pull up my first railroad bike. However, when I tried to knock the rust off of it, it just started to break, so I stopped. Just leave the rust on it over there that first spot all i caught was other than that was just a, some nails and a whole bunch of big rusty pieces that just i left in the garbage that boat ramp that i went to did manage to pull up looks like it probably came off of a boat trailer pulled up this piece of a boat strap and pulled up this old timer knife it's still in the sheath and I can't get it out the whole thing the the blade is just rusted to nothing you can actually feel it bending inside the sheath so it's going to stay where it is in there also pulled up this can it looks like it might have been some type of adhesive of some sort over here at the last location when I was over there at the fishing pier as well as at the kayak launch right here 
from the fishing pier i pulled up this drill bit this big old drill bit my assumption is it might have been used when they were building the fishing dock over there pulled up this chain from over there as well clean it up it's not going to be gold or valuable or anything because it was very magnetic but it's still a pretty cool find doing the sneak attack i was able to pull out this mossy oak interchangeable blade knife which is pretty cool again just push that button and the blade comes out push it back put it back in push that down and it looks like there's a lock right here so that it won't accidentally come unlocked on you while you're using it so that was a pretty cool find and then over here at the kayak launch oh i can't forget i also pulled up the base of this chair right here over from the fishing pier as well over here at the kayak launch i pulled up these uh plier parts to jumper cable this bike chain little piece of a bike chain and then just this piece of metal here some type of uh i don't know just scrap metal but that's what we caught today hey i want to let you know i really appreciate you sticking around and coming out on this magnet fishing adventure with me three locations down today i think we got some pretty decent finds nothing extraordinary but i still think it was some pretty cool finds if you're new to the channel please subscribe hit that notification bell give me a big old thumbs up and please drop me a comment down in the comment section also again if you're looking for a magnet for yourself or maybe as a great christmas gift coming up please check out brute magnetics right here the link will be in the description or you can use my checkout code tms10 until the next time on the magnetic squatch stay squatchy y'all